sound. Sound rolling. Okay, three, two, one, start capture. And capture has been started. <coughs> Syncing up all levels. Down, up, down, up. And action. Hello once again, everybody. Welcome back to the channel, Movie Man 101. And this time we're going with games again. Uh, here we are back with more Last of Us. With, uh, not Last of Us. Oh, been too craving the PS4 edition already. Uh, here with more Outlast with the Whistleblower DLC where we last left off. Uh, the guy who did it, um, I unfortunately just forgot his name, but uh, he got caught because he didn't do it very well as trying to send out the email. But now, sounds like this is just when the asylum is on the brink of uh, destruction and I've got stuff in my head because they tried to brainwash me. So here goes nothing and returning to game now. We've already been chased by several people. Some crazy shit's already been going on, but let's uh, let's just get right back to it. Um, oh, there's a vent right up there. My only choice looks like, because that's blocked off. Let's go. I gotta find a way out of here, basically. Oh God. Oh. We don't even know the radio works. It's shortwave. If the prison's got electricity, they've got signal, and the lights are on. Use the shortwave radio in the prison. Yeah, I noticed. We need to get to that radio. I got a note. So I got to get to the radio to get contact for help. A radio in the prison. There's a radio in the prison, shortwave. If it's electronic, I can make it talk. Make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. My mistake was subtle. Was subtle. Was subtlety, like you always said. I thought learning and leaking information to a few journalists was the safer way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Work off is dangerous, I know that. I thought I had to be subtle for your sake, Lisa, for the boys. Oh great, now he's got love interest and children. But I should have exposed what Murkoff is doing to the world. I should have shouted to anyone and everyone. I can't die. Not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broken, too dangerous. So that's our new mission. Get the word out. Oh. You're not thinking straight. Let me make something clear. You try to radio outside for help. I'm gonna give you a whole new suburb to be scared of. Are you threatening me? Yes. Uh on we go. Am I just following this conversation awkwardly? Oh. Night vision's running out. I can hear running out too. That's weird. I'm only I'm only flicking it on and off so that I can save battery as much as I can. Oh, here we go. Creepy guy. Hey, buddy, how's it going? Just gonna keep uh keep on keeping it on, buddy. All right. I heard a move. Ah! Bye. Nice to meet you. No, thank you. Okay. Get some new batteries in here, too. I like this guy all, has all his fingers. Nah. Okay. Wait, is this where they were? This is where, this is where they were. Okay. Capturing still going on. Video still recording. Oh, uh, what happened? Is that Wall Rider? Do I go? Oh no, this is the way I saw. Okay. All right. That way's locked. Ah, stuff in my head. Oh no. Can't go in there. Dead bodies. More dead bodies. Oh, another dead body. That's refreshing. I'm in a prisoner outfit. Oh, creepy guy. Like you stole these clothes from a dead body I found. What? You gotta get me out of here, please. Just what? push the button. Open the door. We can get out of here together. Oh, well. Oh my! I'm gonna have to hide in there in a second. But let's see what happens if I press the button. Oh. No, no! Oh shit. Oof. 
He's dead. What's about doctors? The doctors are sick. i never seen a man die before today. Never seen a dead body outside of a coffin. Dozens today, murdered and worse. I looked into one man's eyes as another tore him to pieces. Claimed he was a doctor, then saw the rags they've dressed me in. And changed his story. Said he was a patient. Could have, could have been either. They're all crazy. All sick. No real difference between them now. The therapy is spreading. And what am I? I watched this man die and only thought, it's not me, thank God. I know I'll die someday. I don't want to be murdered. True. Alright, so door's open. Now I escape, right? Why'd that door close? Shit. Time to sconce. Okay. Another one's coming. Another one what? Another one what? Oh, the exit! No! Wait. Wait. Uh. Okay, what now? Oh, a file. A document, rather. From to Grant, resignation for mental health. Miss Grant, you may receive requests for information from a Mrs. Lisa Park of Leadville, Colorado, in the more in the in the coming weeks concerning the resignation and hospitalization of her husband Wayland. If so, please forward them to my personal attention, Wayland Park. Resigned due to previously undiagnosed mental illness, I personally visited Mrs. Lisa Park and her sons and broke the news to them with the silver lining that Murkoff Psychiatric would be graciously providing treatment, of course. Mrs. Park had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Murkoff Corporation. I assured her that with her power of attorney, she could try to fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. However, if it were discovered that he resigned under false pretenses, his insurance would be cancelled and the family would be saddled with not, with not insignificant health care debts. Hopefully she understood, but if she insists on making a nuisance of herself or tries to get around me, please let me know. This is one I want to take care of personally. Blair. Blair. Oh, it's this Blair guy. This asshole. What does he have to do with Murkoff? I don't like him. Oh, cool. Can I... Wait, can I not go up there? Okay, sure, great. I locked on the exit. Wait. I go this way, right? Do I not? Wait. I might have gotten lost. I hear screaming. Okay, I might be lost, guys. Um, let's see. Where to go? Do I, do I, am, I, am I supposed to climb up on top of that thing? Am I just not doing it right? Oh, there we go. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I do not like this at all. Anything in here? A locker where I can hide. Oh god. Anything in here? Documents, documents. Batteries maybe. Nope, just a door to another part of the thing. No batteries. Oh god, I hear someone eating. Oh god. What was out there, though? Dead end. Oh god. Oh, jeez. Oh yeah, it's a bubbling pot of, uh... 
Human. Delicious. Why do I want to go through here? I don't, really. Oh! I'm just gonna sneak past this guy. I don't want nothing to do with you, pal. It's the worst cafeteria in history. First course, human. Oh god. Oh god! Ah! Shit. Uh, I'm sure you do. Oh yeah, not gonna do. Oh god, what does the note say on that? In the cannibal's kitchen. Don't ask to see my body, Lisa. When I die, when you finish the lawsuits that you let you pry this footage from Murkoff's army of lawyers and corporate kitmen, don't make them show you my body. Just bury it or burn it. Let my sons remember me whole. That man is eating human flesh. He looks at me and I see anger, a little desire, but more than anything, hunger. Please don't make them show you my body. This guy's quite repetitive, but I get the point. And, oh, I thought he was gone for a second. I got, oh, okay, my god. Time to go. Do I not go through here? I'm almost out of batteries. I got one left. Oh, and a dark bathroom, too. Is that a battery? Yes. Uh oh. What do I hear? I heard a noise. No noises. Pause. There we go. Back in the thing over there. Down, up, turn the game. I heard a noise. Here we go. Oh. One of the Father Martins over here. I made it. I think it's safe. Can you climb up? I'm coming, Cooper. I just have to lock the. Shit. I'm coming. Unlock the handcuffs to open the door. Where's this guy's handcuff key? Great. Cause I want to do this. It's a way out as well. Oh no! Batteries. I don't like this. It's Mr. Power Cell Cannibal Guy. I'm supposed to know where he is. Oh god. Shit. Sneak away, sneak away. Oh, how did he just walk right past me? Fuck that. Shh. Don't see me, don't see me. F oh, okay. Just stay over here. Shit. 
Oh god. Go over it. No. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> First death of Outlast.